14 years after it was first announced and a year after it was labeled airworthy by the FAA, the Switchblade, the world's first flying sports car, is officially in the air. This vehicle can reach 200 miles per hour in flight mode and 13,000 feet of altitude and is equipped with a hybrid power system running on regular 91 octane pump gas, delivering 500 miles of range with a full 36 gallon fuel tank. It has a takeoff distance of 1,100 feet and a landing distance of 700 feet. On the ground, the switchblade gets 33 miles per gallon and can reach speeds of over 125 miles per hour. It weighs in at 1,850 pounds and can carry a payload of 575 pounds. The vehicle is 6 feet long and 5 feet tall with a wingspan of 27 feet. The Switchblade is a three-wheel, street-legal vehicle that you can drive from your house to a local airport, swing out the wings and extend the tail in less than three minutes, then take off, flying up to 200 miles per hour and 13,000 feet land, transform back into a sports car, and go on about your way in impeccable fashion like a secret agent in a 007 movie. Because of the vehicle's three-wheel design, it will be registered and licensed as a motorcycle or autocycle in most U.S. states. However, regulations do differ from country to country. There are two versions available currently, the Switchblade VFR Kit or Visual Flight Rules Kit. This comes in at $170,000 and permits a pilot to fly under clear weather conditions conditions with good visibility. The second option is the IFR kit, which is estimated at $195,000. This authorizes pilots with the proper instrumentation and approval by air traffic controllers to fly under harsher weather conditions. Special editions are also offered for $330,000 to meet special requirements due to the manner in which the vehicle will be used and the climate where the vehicle will be driven. The Switchblade is technically classified as an experimental category aircraft, so owners are actually required to build 51% of the vehicle. Fortunately, this process is simplified by offering the Switchblade Builder Assist program, which will allow the purchasers to spend only one week using the automated building processes and simplified tasks to complete the construction process instead of spending three to six weeks assembling it on their own. Now you may be thinking, flying cars, isn't that way too dangerous? That's exactly why the Switchblade is designed to land and take off more easily. Some of the safety features include side intrusion and rollover protection, whole vehicle parachute, front and rear crumple zones, optional landing, height audible callout, and autopilot. Samson Sky uses technology similar to that of Formula One race cars to create a safety shell around the occupants to protect them from front and rear collisions. Side collision protection is also provided. The wing actuator is connected to the wing at all times and specifically designed for the wings to stay retracted and not swing out while in drive mode. The wings are stored safely beneath the clamshell doors in the belly of the vehicle. It's designed with wide wheel placement and low center of gravity, so the wheels will lose traction in most cases, creating a spin or a drift before the vehicle has a chance to flip over. The Switchblade also seats two side by side, providing a unique and unforgettable date or business trip with a jaw-dropping view and impressive style. Equipped with all-wheel disc brakes, intuitive high-tech dash, and climate-controlled cabin, the Switchblade is ready for whatever road lies ahead, allowing you to drive where it isn't safe to fly. If the Switchblade isn't right for you, Samson Sky has three new models that they're working on for more rugged and dangerous terrain the Snowbird model, Aurora model, and the Trek model. Samson Sky is definitely a company to keep an eye out for, considering their goal is to become the leader in the rapidly expanding flying car market. Thank you all for watching, and if you'd like to stay up to date on similar content, hit and like that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.